And welcome to I Love the Library. I'm Mary Haney, director of the Detroit Lakes Library, and I'm standing today by our new um, secure console for document shredding. Now that's a little bit of a misnomer because we don't do the shredding here, but Minn Kota Recycling ha and Secure Document Destruction has brought us this nice little bin, and this is for the public to use. If you have things you want to dispose of, you can bring them over to the library and put them in the slot and they will stay there until Minn Kota brings their great big recycling truck. Then they take the bin out and empty it right into this gigantic shredder. So your documents are securely shredded and dealt with. Um, and that's a great service. It, this is new. It is no cost to anybody. The only thing I would caution you is you can see the size of the unit is not that big. So um, if you have lots and lots and lots of stuff, you might need to make separate trips in a couple of different weeks. Like uh, this gets emptied every two weeks. So if you've got more than that, like if you've got file cabinet after file cabinet, this won't work for you. But if you've got a few things you want to get rid of, bring them over to the library, slip them in the console, and off you go. Um, so that's a new service that we're offering at the library. And while it is a beautiful day in Lake Country, I'm starting to think about things like picnics and Fourth of July. So let's talk about some of the great stuff we have about the American Revolution and our founding fathers at the Detroit Lakes Public Library. I just did a quick walkthrough through the library and found all of this great stuff, some of it for kids at the junior level and some of it for adults and we have a lot of really good stuff. Um, I really enjoy the children's things. Um, they give you a real good um, overview of what happened in somebody's life. For example, here's one about Ben Franklin and it's full of great information about Franklin that you probably won't get in this more adult book which is much longer and goes into much greater detail about about Ben Franklin's life. But this one, I have to say, is a lot more fun. For example, did you know that Benjamin Franklin invented kite surfing? One day when he was swimming in the river and he was also had been flying his kite, which he loved to do, he decided to hold his kite while he was in the river and sure enough the kite towed him down the river. He had a great time with that. Um, there's another little excerpt from here. This is organized like an almanac with different um, entries and, and it's not in any, any chronological order but it's a great fun book mimicking an almanac. Uh, George, or excuse me, Ben Franklin invented Sudoku. Did you know that, Raina? No, I didn't either. He did this magic square thing where he would set up a squares of numbers and the numbers all added up to the same no matter which way you went, diagonal up or down. The, they all had to add up to the same thing and so in this book is reproduced what Ben Franklin considered his most difficult magic square puzzle. So, I mean, to me it's a lot like Sudoku, right? Um, and, and so that's one, just one of the great tidbits in this book about the life of Ben Franklin called Ben Franklin's Almanac. In this one, Growing Up in the Revolution and the New Nation, this is another book for kids and adults who like to read like kids. Um, lots and lots of fun tidbits about what it was like to be a, a young person in the American colonies at the time they were trying to establish their independence. Did you know that Sybil Ludington had a midnight ride just like Paul Revere? Well, she did. On April 26, 1777, the British were coming to attack Danbury, Connecticut. Her father, Colonel Ludington's soldiers, were at home on their farms, so they sent 16-year-old Sybil out to ride on her horse um, to warn all Colonel Ludington's so, um, soldiers to come and fight the British. So here's a great picture of Sybil on her horse warning the neighborhood. So come down to the library if you want any information about the American Revolution, the Founding Fathers, any great stuff you need to make your 4th of July a happier day. And thanks for joining me today on I Love the Library.